Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dad Deck and today we're playing some more Astroneer. In our last episode, we um, we finally got all of our storage went, uh, sorted out. And then just towards the end of the episode, we went out for a little bit and discovered our first probe to which we unlocked this uh, new spacesuit, which I'm not normally a fan of green, but this green and black looks dead cool. So we're keeping that one on for now. Um... The plan for today was to start making bases on other planets, but instead, I think I want to go back down to the middle of the planet. We're not going to go all the way down in um, the rover. <clears throat> We're going to go most of the way down in the rover. Now, is my hole still um, available? Where we dug down. I'm sure it was around here, so I'd say no, probably not. Where was it? That's it, isn't it? Let's just back up a bit. And then we can start digging from here and re-uncover our road down. <clears throat> Are you alright behind me? Luna's just had a bath, in case you're wondering. So she's going to start thrashing around on my bed. Right, I want to be careful because I don't want to get this thing stuck again. <clears throat> it was a nightmare last time I went down here. But we need to see what's at the middle of the planets and, um, you know, explore it for ourselves. I may, again, have accidentally seen what the middle of the planets do. <clears throat> Are you alright back there, baby? She smells of wet dog, as you'd expect. Um, there's an invisible wall here. Um, yeah, I may have accidentally seen what actually happens in the middle of the planet, but, again, want to find out for myself. Gravity will start going all weird-like. That's why I'm trying to um, slow us down a little bit. Steady. Because I don't think it's far away from here. Although, will I actually be able to park this properly? It's just going to keep rolling. And I don't really want to get lost again. Maybe I'll just flatten it off a little bit when we start seeing the purple thingamajig. Gravity's gone all weird. Gravity has gone dead weird. Slowly. Right, we can see it right there. Can I just back this up onto this flat bit for now? Oh, alright then. I apparently dug through the middle of the path there. <clears throat> Let's have a walk down here. Woo. Steady. So apparently you do still take fall damage. Encounter with the infinite. <clears throat> Find a gateway engine. See, we've never actually managed to get the car all the way down here because it went absolutely insane. I'm tempted to try the car again. In fact, I am going to have to bring the car closer. Because of the oxygen. So we've got more astronium there. I may take some back with me this time. Oh, dare I risk doing this again and getting infuriated. Maybe if I take it ridiculously slowly. We've not got any trailers on the back this time. That was a problem as well last time. Steady. Slow. I've got plenty of soil this time as well. No, I've not. Because I've not bought a single soil canister. So I can dig down, but I can't dig up. Right, turn that off then. If I park this here, is it going to roll? Don't roll. So I'm going to have to do this by hand, it would seem. That's fine. Just keep digging it away. I'd just drop down to the middle, but that seems like a very bad idea. Let's take... Um, I want a bit of a different angle. How about that angle? That's a little bit steep. 
maybe if I can just... Oh, that's not actually a bad angle right there. If we go like that. Maybe a portable oxygenator for down here would be a good idea. I know, I know, running out of oxygen. That and we will run out of soil as well. It's alright though, we've got an entire planet's worth to dig up, should we need to. Let's dig some of this out as well. Because I want to take some back, rather than us having to go and um, get it back off the other planet. I can understand the gravity going weird, but I can't understand everything else going weird. There we go. A few bits of astronium. Beautiful. I can't believe I forgot to bring the canisters down. My bad. We are floating. Steady. We are floating again. I just don't want to hit the deck and then start sliding. <clears throat> Can we loop this back on itself? there. Not quite as straight as I wanted it to go, but... No. Don't curve it around there. I mean, really, I could probably just drop down there. Yeah, if I had an oxygenator on here... <clears throat> It would actually um, be loads more useful, wouldn't it? It's fine. I'm not going all the way back up just to make an oxygenator. In fact... Nanocarbon alloy. Damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> we could have made one. We could have made one. Yeah, I'm fairly sure the, f uh, the gravity... Well, it's not that... Gravity that does the damage. It's how far you fall from what I understand Ooh, Don't start sprinting You know what? I've changed my mind. We're going to go back up. We're going to build a portable oxygenator because then I can tether my way down here. And we can remember to get the canisters. Although, do I really want to risk going all the way down there with this? I've got to be very careful now. Turn that way. Turn that way. Why you no turn? Driving, don't fail me now. Come on, don't fall off the path. So we know we can get down this path, so surely we can get back up. It is drifting very slightly. Right, we're fine. Let's go back up. Let's make a portable oxygenator, and I'll get one canister. Ooh, it's all over the place. I could actually take one of the batteries off, because realistically we don't need both of them. At least I don't feel like we need both of them. With an RTG anyway, we should be absolutely fine. Because it's near... Well, it is infinite power, realistically, isn't it? And we can't actually see... Well, the batteries are fully charged. Because we can't see it because they've bugged out and gone inside. Which they do tend to happen... Uh, that does tend to happen when you're on the rover. It's going to be a bit of a slower ascent than the descent. Just because we're going uphill now, not downhill. Well, are we really going uphill? We're going around. So God knows how many times we've looped around the planet. I assume only once. Don't know what keeps stopping us there, but we've dug back through it again. Hopefully that won't keep affecting us. Yeah, I, I want to explore the middle of the planet today. That's the goal. Without me rage quitting, that is. 
that's not the surface already. No, I didn't think it was. So we've got a long way to go yet. That's not an actual tether, it's a broken one. Have I actually got any tethers on me? I say about us going to make one of these. I can grab some carbon when we get up, up top anyway. I think that's quite close to the top, the uh, quartz that we've just passed. I'm sure it's not that far from the surface. That hole looks a little bit weird, so yeah, that's probably it. Or are they clouds? Nope, we're free. Oop. I'll just park that very gracefully there for a moment. Um, I believe we saved somewhere special for the Astronium to go, did we? No, no we did not. <clears throat> it's this one right here, that's where Astronium's meant to go. I thought we'd save something. By the way, still don't know what this does. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Um, right, portable oxygenator, we need nanocarbon alloy, which we did make last time. I'm fairly sure you need aluminium alloy to make that. Titanium alloy, my bad. Uh, so For that we need graphene, and for graphene we need hydrazine. I'm learning. So we need to make a hydrazine. Ammonium, ammonium, hydrogen. Nitrogen, helium. Ah, we've used it all. Hydrogen's the yellow one. So you can go on there, there, there. You can make the hydrazine up. Then we need the graphene, which is graphite and hydrazine. So you can just go on to there. And you can make that up. So there's the graphene. So that should be... We need a titanium. I can oblige there as well. <clears throat> you can go on that one. Ding. You can make the titanium alloy. And then we need a steel, which is a one of you and a one of you. Might as well make it in this one. Uh, I need some more argon on here. That's one of the blue ones, is it not? Helium, methane. It's this one around the back, isn't it? Argon. And you go in that one. We've got the helium, we've got titanium alloy. We've, we've just waiting for the steel. And then we can make an anacarbon alloy. And then we can make our doodah. There we go. Um, what else did I want to bring with us? I'm going to need a compound so I can make some tethers. I know I've got some, but I want some more. Drill, drill, alignment mods, small battery, wind turbine, small solar, portable oxygenator. <coughs> When powered, acts as a portable oxygen source. Oh my god, that eats through power. Uh, no, that's not our actual truck. What am I doing? <clears throat> You need to be turned off for a minute because you absolutely gobble power. <clears throat> I want to see if we can connect it to tethers. Or connect tethers to it, should I say. No, you can't. Yes, you can. How do the batteries do with that? Um, fine, actually. Right, we can go back down then. Canister, canister, don't forget your canister. <clears throat> Which is actually on the back of the tractor. 
that I um, accidentally just attached whatever it was to. Portable oxygenator, that's the one. Probably could grab a more full one, but this will do nicely for now. We're going to have to fill it up a little bit more. I can fill that up manually then. There we go. And we can just reverse this round and... Beautiful. Anybody think I knew how to drive myself? I do know how to drive myself. I drive to work every day. Well, five days a week. Right, I probably shouldn't be going this fast. I think we're going to get airborne if I go much faster. It's getting all rocky. When we get to that flat bit, I think I'm going to make a little bit of a platform so we know we're... Oh no, we still hit whatever's there. God knows. It digs through it. It's weird. Maybe it's just passing a certain level. And the game's trying to slow you down so you don't, like, yeet straight into the middle of the planet. I think we're getting there. <sighs> Was a little bit heavy on the brakes then, it would seem. Almost spun out. Nice to know you can do a decent handbrake turn, then. Steady. We turn to the side a bit there. Is this it? No. You go a little bit further down the roller coaster. I think it's right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. But you probably could do with the beacon. I'm not going to bother, but we could do with the beacon. Just remember to reverse up. Don't destroy the path. That's not a bad amount. <clears throat> We're floating. Ooh. I did not know you could control it that well when it's flying. Come on. Steady. Steady. Don't flip. <clears throat> oh, this is dead nerve-wracking. Right, now that we've got a canister, I am actually going to try and do this in the um, rover. Because it's just going to be so much more efficient if we can. Steady. Because we know what it's like. Really trying to keep my eye on the uh, soil as well. So we're just about to run out. You know what? <gasps> Don't throw me out that side. Let's go back up. We'll fill it back up this way. This is going to be so much safer. Ooh, too fast. It's going to be slightly amusing if we run out of power, isn't it? Damn it. Just grab it from the roof, because we're not bothered about the roof. There we go. Yummy. And we can follow our tethers back down. I really don't want to slide, but if I slow slide like this, we should be okay. It's slightly quicker than walking, I guess. And if I just put you on there. Yeah, that may take a little while. It'll be fine. I much prefer to do it this way than trying to reverse around at the minute. Just take that bit back out because we don't need that bit. Maybe we've not got to go as far up. Well, we've got to go nearly as far up. I am actually trying to go faster this time. It's not letting us. Which is probably a good thing. 
I just want to see what's in the middle of this. How much does that actually give us? Very little. Steady. I'm just looking at the wheels, making sure they've actually stopped. There is a platform down there. Right. I probably should have bought more canisters, thinking about it. Are you still active? Yes, you are. Just place a few more tethers down. I mean, I could probably just branch out to the wall. No, no. We're trying to get too complicated with it now. Just keep running back up and grabbing this. If I can make a turning circle... We'll be fine. But my turning circle, I want it to be whatever platform that is down there. It's going to be fairly treacherous driving back up this though. I could probably have done it a lot straighter. What do we think? Three, four more of that and then we'll try it again. I know it's not overly exciting watching me run back up and down this path but the excitement will come from when we get to the middle of the planet. That's Try and dig some of these out as well. Some of the spikes. Don't dig more than you need to. That's just silly. I guess I could have bought down the other canister and taken a battery off like I said I was going to. It would have helped out a bit, but... It's easier to drive this at the minute because it's not got um, the trailer on the back. I can actually cut away my old path. I'm being careful. I don't want to cut away my current path. Easy does it. And then whatever the hell that is. That's when we crashed straight into it the first time we came down here. There we go, we're full. <clears throat> I'll try it this time. I could risk just dropping down onto it there. I'd rather not. I mean, if I really wanted to be crazy about this, I could build uh, tethers all the way down from the base. We did fall a little bit then. The post that I remember reading might have been a bit of an older one. With the fall damage, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. We didn't really get that far there, did we? Hmm... keep the tether path coming there we go <clears throat> I'm fine with taking it slow I've had far too many problems with this at the minute so um, yeah for the sake of not doing it wrong again I'm going to go slow lovely You know what? We're already flying. Let's test the theory ourselves. It's going to be unfortunate if we do die now. Nope. Admittedly, it does um, cost us oxygen to get down here, but... I've got to try it. It does work. I did wonder, because when I got my um, rover stuck, it was this that we walked on. Ooh. Wow. 
What is this? It doesn't look like we can get inside it. I'm trying to keep an eye on my oxygen as well. So how do you get in there then? I can see something right in the middle. Oh! Oh, I think I know. I think you've got to power all the um, obelisk things that we've seen. Um, it's that one that I'm attached to. Oh, I do hope I can jump back onto that now. Oh! How about if we do it? Oh, no. Oh, got it. We got it. <clears throat> so, it seems we're going to have to go out to them obelisk-looking things. Uh, which side was it, though, that I was on the rover? My god, this is so confusing. Are we now gravitationally locked to this side? It would seem like it, wouldn't it? Or was there any other ones like this? Yeah, there is other ones like this. So I've probably jumped off on the wrong one. Whoa! Uh, is it this one? I don't think it is. What is that up there? Hmm. Nothing we really want. So it's not this one either. This is craziness. <laughs> There's one that's got dirt coming from it. Come on, make it, make it. We've done it. I'm getting to grips with it now. I really should have bought some quartz down here. We passed so many quartz, didn't we? I can't see where we're meant to be. No. I mean, when I jumped off it, we did fall down, but it seems like you fall down off all of them. We didn't go off the main one. I know we didn't. Jump. Go, Indy. Go. It's not this one, because there's nothing sticking off the roof of it. It's not that one, because that one's attached. Oh, I'm not sure if we're going to make that jump. I'm not even sure if we're going back to the same one. Nope. Oh my god, this is so confusing. You know what? I've just thought. We can jump onto this thing, because this thing was about where our road went to. So good job you don't run out of oxygen here, isn't it? Please. Please. We made it. Right, everybody keep your eye out for the rover. Am I still falling? Now we're running. Rover, where are you? Yeah, I want to grab some quartz and make a beacon. So this sort of thing doesn't keep happening. But we need to reverse the uh, rover out somehow and go back up. Oh, there it is. I can see the tethers. Rover, I've missed you. Whoa, steady on there, sunshine. Delicate touch. Delicate touch! No! Reverse! <sighs> steady, 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 steady. I don't want to get the rover stuck down there. It's going. 
It's going. No, don't exit it. What are you doing, you madman? Well, Rover's going to be lost down here then until we get this sorted. My poor Rover. Unless you can ramp it off. It was that one there. Remember that one there. Whoa! I, I mean, I kind of wanted it to do that. I don't know which way is up anymore. Uh, okay. It is telling me to flip, I think. Oh, no. I think we're going to get stuck right in the middle of it again. Oh, we're breaking gravity. I'm fairly sure this rover is going to be lost. Yes, I have just turned the digger on. Please let me free. I think we're free. Right. Careful. So we know it is... We think it's that one there. Maybe if I can get enough speed up, I can ramp off of this. What do you think the odds are on that? It kind of worked. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Flip. I'm going up this. So confusing. I don't think this is going to get any better for us either. Go. I don't actually want to get to the point of that because I'm fairly sure it's not going to do what I want it to do. Right, I've got no idea where we are anymore. But at least my rove is not stuck anymore. I'm out of dirt. Kamikaze? Oh, I was going so... Don't have the drill on while you're falling. Insane. Uh, we're just going for a little bit of three-wheel driving. Oh, just calm a minute. Really? There's a spike just under the front of the rover. See, I'm not getting quite as frustrated by it now because I kind of, very loose kind of, understand what's happening. Steady. Steady. Drill. I do think I'm going to have to drill a path back up to the surface again. <clears throat> yeah, probably. Right, let's drill to the surface. We've got to go and find one of these obelisks that's on the surface. It seems like we've got to do something with them before we can get to the centre of the planet. We've already got a road down there, so that's fine. I need to make sure I'm not going too steep, because that's the problem we normally have. Oh my god. Resources just raining everywhere. <clears throat> Got more plant life there. Go straight into a stone. I think I'll have a very quick look round. See if we can find our road, but honestly, I doubt it. I thought that was something of ours then. It's just debris. Don't know what happened there. It went a little bit bumpy. That oxygenator's still on. Yeah, it is. 
Um, I think I'm going to just go up. I think me trying to find this road without having a beacon placed down there is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And it's just going to be easier for me to dig all the way up again. There's probably like three or four, maybe five with this one paths going back up to the surface now. The more the merrier, I guess. If we've got different um, entry points, it should be better, right? Ooh, I don't want to go through empty space if I can avoid it. Yeah, we've actually had very little problems not having a trailer with us this time. Which is dead nice. I'd be amazing if this came out. I'd be amazing. I'd be amazed if this came out somewhere near the base. No idea where we are on the planet at this point in time, but... So let's go and find one of the... I keep calling them obelisks. I don't actually know what they're called. If you do know the name of them, the spires or whatever they are, please let me know. But to me, it's an obelisk. A shrine. Maybe it's a shrine. God knows. Excuse me, by the way. Oh, I should have got a photo while we're down there on the middle of the planet. But I guess if we can't get in there, we'll save that photo for when we actually make it inside that um, dome platform thingamajig at the centre. I think we're getting close to the surface now. It's getting more green. Oh. Apparently going straight through a compound mine. Not that I'm collecting any... Yeah, we're at the surface. Right. We can't see base. I'm not that upset. There is one of the things. Let's go and have a look at one of these, because I've not actually had a proper look at one yet. It explains why I keep dipping down when I take off now, because you can tilt it backwards. I didn't realise there was that much air control on the... Get lost. Uh, on the vehicle. Let's try and make a nice ramp straight up to its front door. Because the last time I visited one of these properly it was actually on silver. There. So it needs power. Right. Well, I can do that. I don't know how much power you need. Damn it. Would two RTGs do yet? And do we need to leave it connected to power? We're going to need more than one. We're going to need actual power sources, aren't we? It sounds angry. That is annihilating my power. Right, so we've... Oh, don't leave them there. Don't leave them there. Right, so we need to find base. This is where I have problems. <laughs> Come on. Oh, don't affect that path. Don't do that, you stupid. Right, if I've not got the paver on, we should be okay. Because we go a little bit quicker. Damn it. Immediately drive face first into a, um, a plan. Alley-oop. Nope. My plan was to alley-oop, turn that on, and then nicely land on a road made by us. But that's not how it worked. I'm getting a bit adventurous. Let's just ramp off some of these mountains, shall we? Although we're not going to get much speed up, are we? That looks like one of my roads over there in the distance. Let's dig towards it. So, what my plan has changed into is... Do we need... Oh, we run out of soil. Several RTGs and several batteries. Do we think that'd work? 
So like I said, I don't know if an RTG is going to be enough to power it. I don't know if you need to keep it powered once you've done it or if you can just take all of them back off. I don't know anything about this. We need to uh, investigate. But to do that, I need to find my goddamn base. Yeah, this is one of my roads. Don't know if this is the way to base or away from base, but I think this is to base, actually. I wouldn't hold your breath on me being right there, but I think it's towards base. Failing that, we just turn around and go the other way. Although, this may be one of the long paths where I just went like all the way around the planet and never found anything. Come on, looking for that blue icon. We can see another thing shooting into the sky right there. Get some speed. Let's go. I need some way to direct me back to base. I could leave little tether marks on it in a triangle pointing in the direction. Does that seem like a logical idea? Like I say, I don't know if this is towards base, away from base, or what at the minute. I'm just going to keep following it because it will lead us back to base eventually. I know that much. Realistically, I should go with my other plan of making like north, south, east and west roads out of here. I think I might be going away. Because um, if I do that and then put a beacon at the furthest point away from it, then at least I'd know when I'm getting close. You'd expect to see it in front of us. Come on, I can't spend another episode lost. I've spent too many episodes lost already. We're on 42 minutes already? I've not done anything. I've literally done nothing. Wow, that got away from me a little bit. Well. Um, I think we're gonna have to call this an episode so I can get back to base and find it. My plan is make up three RTGs, three batteries. I might bring some packers as well. These are gonna need at least a large storage, aren't they? I need to plan this out. I'll plan it out back at base. And um, then next episode, I think we're going to go out towards the obelisks and see what we can do about them. I've got a feeling you're going to have to activate all of them on one planet. So it might be wise for me to look into the sky, find the tractor beams, and build a road literally from base, straight towards one of them. No turning. No dipping, diving, ducking, dodging, or dipping. That was meant to be a, a reference to the dodgeball movie, but... Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's what I was going for. Yeah, none of that. We want to go in a just straight line all the way there. Yeah, this is clearly either the wrong way or the longest path known to man to take us back to base. Never mind. I'm going to end the episode off here while I find base. And um, next episode. Why? Why? Why did I do that? Why? Uh, next episode, like I say, we're going to go in a straight line towards one of the obelisks and see if we can get one powered up, and then we'll see what we're doing from that point. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. Apologies again about it being kind of uh, lackluster, but hopefully you'll join me for the next episode, and it'll be a little bit more um, adventurous. Well, adventurous is the wrong word. A little bit more entertaining than this one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe! If you'd like to see some more, all comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh dear. Cheers.